Amazing Grace, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 9, talking about the amazing grace of God. It says, Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, in other words, we don't earn it or deserve it, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. When I go to pick up my little guy from daycare, he gets off of school and, and he goes to the First Baptist daycare there in, in Jerome. We love the daycare, it's a great daycare. And I was, when I go in, I go in about 5.15 and usually all the kids are outside of the big room. If you go into that big room, it used to be the main place where they had church when the church was first built. The church is over a hundred years old. It's got a rich history. Uh, back when I was pastoring in Jerome, I, I met with their pastor and he kind of gave me a tour and, and it was a neat history that they had. But whenever I go in, I always sing a hymn when that room is empty because the acoustics are amazing. And a lot of times I'll sing Amazing Grace. And I'm going to sing Amazing Grace because you can sing it to multiple songs. So, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Was blind, but now I see. Was blind, was blind, but now I see. Or you can even sing it to an old Coke jingle. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. He's a real thing, Christ is. And that's the way it should be, hallelujah. That's the way it should be, he's a real thing. And of course, the amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. See, amazing grace is infinitely adaptable because God designed his amazing grace to reach us exactly where we're at. John Wesley was influenced by some Moravians and their testimony in a time of storm. Uh, John Newton, the author of Amazing Grace, was one out of being a slave trader into the kingdom of God, and he fought the rest of his life against the slave trade. Amazing Grace transformed him. He would say at the end of his life, that he, uh, th th he had forgotten a lot of things, but I know one thing, whereas I am a great sinner, I have a great savior. That's amazing grace, man. Amazing grace reached down and touched me when I was seven years old. And I was saved at the Hillcrest Baptist Church in Lebanon, Missouri, and I came forward and trusted Christ as my Lord and Savior. And that amazing grace transformed everything in my life. And Man, I know you've got a, if you're a born-again believer, you've got a testimony of how God's grace has changed you. It's amazing. Thank God that it's not of works. Thank God that it's the, the gift of God that he gives to us. Well, what an amazing God we have to give us his favor and his mercy and his goodness to us. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for amazing grace. And it's a song that should ever be on our lips, God. Let us adapt it. Let it be the new song that we sing. Lord, when we get to heaven and we are in the general assembly of the church of the firstborn and, and a song of praise bursts forth from our lips, may it be amazing grace and the old rugged cross. Thank you, God, for your goodness to us. Watch out over us. Help us to grow in this grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love you, but more importantly, Jesus loves you. Have a great night.